In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. The story of Bilbo Baggins is about a most normal and unremarkable hobbit who is presented with a most remarkable opportunity, the wonderful chance at adventure and the promise of a great reward. The problem is that most self-respecting hobbits want nothing to do with adventures. Their lives are all about comfort and basking in the simple joys of life. However, when Bilbo is presented with the prospect of a grand adventure, something searches deep within his heart. And so, this unremarkable hobbit leaves comfort behind and enters the path to a great adventure. Perhaps one of the reasons this story resonates with so many is because it is our story too. Long, long ago, we too were invited to embark on an adventure. It was proposed by God, our Heavenly Father. Accepting this adventure would mean leaving the comfort and security of His immediate presence. We would discover truths about God and ourselves. We agreed to leave the security of our first estate and embark on our own great adventure of there and back again. And yet, mortal life has a way of distracting us, doesn't it? The Savior invites us each day to set aside our comforts and securities and join Him on the journey of discipleship. There are many bends in this road. There are hills, valleys, and detours. There may even be metaphorical spiders, trolls, and even a dragon or two. But if you stay on the path and trust in God, you will eventually find the way to our glorious destiny and back to our heavenly home. So how do you begin? It's quite simple. First, you need to choose to incline your heart to God. Strive each day to find Him. Learn to love Him. And then let that love inspire you to learn, understand, and follow His teachings and keep God's commandments. God knows that you are not perfect. Remember that discipleship is not about doing things perfectly. It is about doing things intentionally. All God asks is that you consciously keep striving. The only way for you to progress in your gospel adventure is to help others progress as well. To help the poor and the needy, to reach out to those in distress, your own character is purified and forged. The third thing we strive to master in this journey is to take upon ourselves the name of Jesus Christ and not be ashamed of being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ. Share your experiences in person, on social media, in groups, everywhere. May I remind you that God does not need you to sell the restored gospel. He simply expects you to not hide it under a bushel. When our friend Bilbo Baggins felt the call to adventure stare within him, he decided to get a good night's rest and start out first thing in the morning. When Bilbo awoke, he noticed his house was a mess and he was almost distracted from his noble plan. To catch up with his friends, Bilbo had to decide for himself what to do. The very normal and unremarkable hobbit found himself darting out his front door to the path of adventure so quickly that he forgot his hat, walking stick, and pocket handkerchief. We could spend a lifetime waiting for that moment when everything lines up perfectly. Leave behind your hat, walking stick, handkerchief, and messy house. If you want to experience the wonders of this great spiritual journey, set foot upon your own grand adventure. It's time to begin. Come and see what this marvelous, wondrous, and adventurous journey is all about. Along the way, you will discover yourself. You will discover meaning. You will discover God. Of this I testify in the name of our Redeemer and Savior, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.